yes hello my friends welcome to this youtube channel and today our topic is classification of polymers first way to classify polymers is based on its source so we have natural polymers they are found in plants and animals for example proteins cellulose jute linen silk wool and some resins and rubber semi synthetic polymers are the natural polymers but they are modified by some chemical treatment for example is acetate rayon viscous rayon synthetic polymers are man made polymers example we have nylon terylene and polythene they are made in laboratory then classification based on its structure so first we have linear that having without branch for example high density polythene and polyvinyl chloride in branched they are having some branches for example low density polythene or polypropylene network and cross linked polymer it is bifunctional or trifunctional monomers having strong covalent bonding example we have bakelite melamine or vulcanization of rubber then we classify polymers based on its mode of polymerization so here we have a addition polymers and condensation polymers so let us talk about addition polymers so it having a repeated addition of monomers for example we have a homo polymer and co polymer so in homo polymer same type of monomer gets polymerized and form polymer and in co polymer we have a different monomer unit get polymerized and form the polymer for example is 1,3 butadiene and styrene form buna s that is co polymer in condensation we have a bifunctional or trifunctional monomeric unit and there is a formation of water alcohol or hydrochloric acid as a by product example we have terylene nylon 6 nylon 6 6 so they comes under condensation polymers because some water molecule alcohol or hcl as a form as a by product then let us talk about addition based on molecular forces so here we have a elastomers so elastomers having weak intermolecular forces example is buna s buna n or neoprene then fibers fibers having as compared to elastomers they have a strong bonding and basically hydrogen bonding example is nylon 66 and polyester thermoplastics they are intermediate between the elastomers and fibers so they gets soft on heating and hardening on cooling so example we have polythene or polystyrene thar in thermosetting it is a cross linked structure and once it gets formed it is uh, you cannot reuse it you cannot uh, after heating it and you cannot form another shape so it is infusible you cannot reuse it for example is bakelite and urea formaldehyde resins and the fifth one we have based on growth polymerization so basically addition and again condensation polymers comes under this category because of the active unit they having and we can form a long chain so it forms from addition